Hello, I'm Maggie Stieber, National Geographic photographer and a Guggenheim Fellow. I have worked in 70 countries all over the world doing all kinds of stories, but almost 100% of the time I have to talk to strangers and photograph them. And this is one of the most difficult things that people have in wanting to photograph people. They're afraid to talk to strangers. They're afraid to approach people. And sometimes it's because they're shy. I've also found that some people feel that they're taking something and using the person, which sometimes you are doing. And so I wanna try to give you some pointers about how you can do this. And by doing it, have a much richer experience. And especially if you're in a foreign place or even in your hometown. One of the things I think that you have to do is understand how you would feel if somebody came up to you and asked if they could photograph you. And so the first thing you're gonna say is, well, why? What do you want? What for? What is this gonna be used for? And those are the same questions you sometimes get from people. Sometimes people will say, no. And that's because they've been photographed so often without anyone asking permission. So you have to keep these things in mind. Not, and not everybody wants to be photographed, so that's a certain thing to keep in mind. But don't get discouraged by that. You have to invest something of yourself if you want to photograph people. So what I always do is I'm either very playful when I'm photographing and it depends on the situation, you know, like if I'm photographing a parade or something like that, I'll really kind of dance and, you know, photograph and, and connect with people like that. But let's say that you're photographing um, a lady on the street who's selling flowers and maybe it's in Mexico. So she has a big bucket of flowers and she's sitting there hoping that people will come and buy her flowers. Or maybe she's selling souvenirs or something like that. So what I do in that case is I start by saying, good morning, how are you? If you speak the language, that's all the better. But if you don't, a lot of people speak English. But I always think a smile is universal. So I always smile and say, good morning. And I ask about some of the things that they're selling. And then I ask about them. Were you born in Mexico City, for example? Uh, oh, you weren't? Well, where, where are you from? And um, how long have you lived here? And do you have a family? Um, and do you like selling these flowers? And which flower is it that you sell the most? Or just, I don't know, try to find something that you can talk about with them. And then I often will use the iPhone first and I'll ask if we can take a selfie and almost everybody is okay with taking a selfie. And I use the phone because first of all, <laughs> it's easier to do that uh, than use a camera to take a selfie, but also it's a great equalizer. Almost everybody has a cell phone, so it's not intimidating as much as a camera could sometimes be. And they make cell phones now that are really pretty good and, and have fairly high resolution um, JPEGs. So. I will ask if we can take a selfie and then I'll ask if I can take a portrait of the person and then I'll ask if I can use my camera as well. And quite often, just because I think it levels the playing field, um, I will buy something that the person is selling. Uh, sometimes I'll buy flowers if it's a lady buying, uh, selling flowers, I will buy the flowers and then I will give them back to her as a gift. And that's kind of a nice thing to do. If it's souvenirs, I'll try to find one little thing I can buy, you know, even though I don't really want to. Now you can't go around buying and buying and buying and buying because, you know, you only have so much money. So that's where you really have to invest time in talking to people, that a smile and really a true, true interest in somebody can really get you very far. And you come away with a richer experience. And look, sometimes people will say yes, sometimes they will say no. I would just say, remember, that when you use a long lens, camera lens, you're basically taking a postcard picture. And if that's what you want, okay. But I think you deny yourself of a great experience. And so I hope you'll try this. Don't be afraid.
give something back in some way, even if it's just a conversation. And that way it balances the scales. So those are my tips.